Did you know that little over a year into the American Revolutionary War, the U.S. Army had been reduced to just 3,000 men? But over 10 crucial days between December 25th and January 3rd, 1777, all of that changed thanks to one man, Patriot General George Washington. Back in August 1776, the Continental Army was 20,000 strong and morale was high. But over the following month, a series of dramatic defeats had decimated their numbers and turned the tide of war in favor of the British. Lacking men and resources, Washington led his troops into Pennsylvania to lick their wounds on the banks of the Delaware River. But things were about to turn from bad to worse for the Patriots, because under the conditions of their enlistment, most U.S. soldiers would be free to return home on January 1st. Knowing that time was against him, Washington opted for a last bold strike to attack the garrison at Trenton, New Jersey. He wrote in his diary, victory or death. Then on the evening of December 25th, Washington led his men under cover of darkness across the icy Delaware River. Against all odds, by 9 a.m. the next morning, the garrison at Trenton was theirs. With their morale boosted by the victory, many of Washington's troops decided to stay and keep fighting rather than return home. Shocked by this unlikely defeat, the British dispatched thousands of reinforcements under the command of British General Charles Cornwallis. On January 2nd, Washington returned to Trenton, then moved his forces behind enemy lines. And on January 3rd, Washington personally led the attack that defeated the British garrison at Princeton. So why does it matter? Well, by snatching victory from the jaws of defeat, Washington gave an adrenaline boost to his ailing army and convinced many Americans that the Declaration of Independence was worth fighting for. How might your life be different today if Washington had failed?